hi guys you're welcome back to our channel so today we're going to be learning how to make some homemade meat pie with and without an oven okay and without wasting your time let's get started so we're going to start from the meat pie filling and to make this you're going to need some beef some minced meat basically so you can either get the package minced meat for the market or just get your raw beef from the market Put it in a blender and blend it that is all that is how to make your minced meat without any stress at all and you can as well just buy your regular minced meat from any supermarket close to you so now that we have our meat ready we're going to set that aside and now we have to prepare our veggies okay so starting with the carrots so just go to your local market and get some carrots now we are going to dice this carrots into some small square sizes but you're going to start by scraping off the back of the carrots just to make sure that the carrot is clean and there's no nyama nyama on the carrot now you're going to cut the carrot into thick fat slabs okay so that we can properly dice this carrot i'm sure a lot of you already know how to dice your carrots from the fried rice video that we did the other day okay so in case you don't know just keep watching so you're going to now cut into some long stripes like this okay so after cutting into long stripes like this you are going to bring everything together and that way it's going to be easy for you to dice into some finely equal bite sizes so that your carrot will not be looking very big inside your meat pie we don't want that so make sure you cut your carrot the way i am cutting it okay So now we are done with our carrot we are going to set it aside and now we have to get some irish potatoes go to your local market and ask them for irish potatoes so you're going to thoroughly wash it and you're going to peel off the back of this irish potato we don't need it so you have to take it out like completely and you're going to also dice this irish potato potato you guys <laughs> into small sizes okay so basically just dice it the way you dice the carrots okay cut into long um, slabs bring together and then just dice it that is all it is very very easy that way you would have a very equal you know not too big and not too small size of your irish potato as a filling okay <laughs> So now we have our Irish potato well diced. We are also going to set this aside, okay? And we are going to continue with the remaining ingredients, okay? You guys know I always like to show this part because I don't want anything to be missing. So this is our onions. You are also going to dice these onions into small sizes. We are going to be using these onions as well for our filling, okay? So after dicing your onions, you guys, these are the ingredients we're going to be needing your meat your potatoes your carrots and your onions yeah of course the seasoning powder and the salt will also be added as well so in your pan you're going to place a pan on medium to low heat you're going to add some oil you guys as usual the full list of the ingredients will be in the description box so just make sure you check it okay so i added some oil now we're going to go in with some onions when your oil is hot or maybe not too hot okay you're going to just you know stir 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 together and then you're going to go in with your minced meat okay remember i said you can also get your minced meat package from the supermarket or you can just get some some raw beef use your blender your grater you can even tell them in the market to help you dice the meat into small small they, they have a way of mincing the meat by themselves tell them you want to use it for meat pie if you don't have a blender they will mince it for you in the market okay so now you're going to just put the meat in and then stir to break up any no clumps in the meat okay so just break it up so guys when you start to stir it's going to look as if there's water coming out from the meat that is absolutely normal okay it's going to dry up later right can you guys see the water in uh here -huh. now you're going to add your salt you're also going to add your seasoning powder you're going to add some curry you can add some thyme and any of your favorite spices just basically use what you feel like using you can also add some ginger some garlic powder like i did just a little 
little bit not too much okay so you're going to just mix together and then leave this meat to cook um maybe for like 10 to 15 minutes so that the meat can be well cooked before we add the other ingredients okay so guys we are about to add our carrots and our irish potato and basically that's just the ingredients that we need for this filling you don't need to do too much okay so just mix together you guys and they're going to add some water a little bit of water so that the irish potato especially can cook through okay and you're going to just allow this to cook for another 10 to 12 minutes and then you guys i forgot something some scotch bonnet pepper <laughs> for some extra heat this is not compulsory at all it is optional but you guys just add it especially if you like it this is the pepper that i use scotch bonnet pepper at tarudo so you're going to just mix this together mix this together to properly combine we are going to add a little bit of water okay so i covered this and left this to cook for about 10 minutes and then when we got back this is what we have okay our sauce is looking very dry there is no water there's no excess moisture in our sauce and now we are going to add a, a paste in the sauce what you need is just to get half cup of water and then a tablespoon of flour your regular flour your all-purpose flour okay so this is going to thicken the sauce and just basically bring the sauce together so mix thoroughly make sure there are no lump in your in your mixture okay and you're going to now pour this mixture in your filling your sauce your meaty sauce so just pour it around it if it's too thick you can always add more water okay if it's not if it's looking as if it's not thick at all you can add more um, make some more paste with the flour and the water and then pour it in again but immediately you add this the sauce should start to thicken immediately and then start to come together so this flour paste is supposed to act as a binder to bring the the filling together okay if you don't add it it will not it will not be nice <laughs> so make sure you add the flour paste okay so this is what we have we are going to set this aside and leave this to cool where we make our dough <laughs> so in a bowl we are going to start by sifting our flour you guys remember i always tell you that whenever you want to make anything baking always start by sifting out your flour okay so you're going to add about i'm using about four cups of flour and did you guys see the way i leveled the cup of flour okay so don't heap your flour in the cup just level it okay to get the proper measurement now we are going to sift our flour into a bowl sifting your flour will make your flour lighter will break up any lumps in your flour it just it just make it easy for you to work with okay so now we're going to add some sugar not too much sugar the full list of the ingredients will be in the description box so just check in and i'm also going to be adding some baking powder your salt about half a teaspoon is okay you're going to mix together mix this together thoroughly and they are going to get some margarine you can use your butter but i always like to use um, margarine whether salted or unsalted right so just get your margarine from the local market they call it cooking margarine just get it this is about 250 gram basically a sachet of this margarine is okay okay so um you're going to just now it's time for you to get your hands dirty with your hands both hands if possible you're going to just mix this together mix this till you get a crumbly consistency almost looking like breadcrumbs if you know what i mean <laughs> okay so just mix together till it is well combined it should look like this the color will definitely change because of the margarine and it's going to be very very crumbly okay so when you get to this point okay 
we are going to be adding some eggs i'm going to be using about two eggs i know a lot of recipes out there don't actually use eggs in their dough for meat pie but i prefer mine with eggs because it makes it more crunchy it makes it more you know sweet it makes it more it doesn't make it dry okay so you can as well decide not to add eggs to yours okay but i really recommend you add some eggs so i'm using just just about two eggs whisk thoroughly and then just pour the eggs in your bowl of flour and mix together you're also going to be adding some water as well i'm using cold water okay the measurement of everything in this bowl will be in the description make sure you check it now we're going to use our hands to mix together just use your clean hands to mix this together into a dough we have our dough yes we are going to flat a work surface and we are going to place this dough on it and we are going to knead for a few minutes not too long we are not trying to make bread here we are trying to just make it dough i just want to try to make the dough a little bit more softer and maybe easy to work with so just knead knead rather for a few minutes okay till you have a softer dough like this and now you're going to cover up you can can put in your bowl immediately and cover it up with a plastic wrap or just use a plastic wrap to just cover this up okay So we have our dough all wrapped up we're going to drop this in the fridge for about 45 to one hour just to make the dough you know a little bit cold especially because of the butter inside it okay so this is what our dough is looking like now we're going to just cut this dough into smaller sizes and we're going to roll it out and you guys in case you notice that your dough is starting to look greasy okay it's starting to look um um as if oil is coming out of it don't worry <laughs> all you have to do is just to fly a work surface place it on it and then use your rolling pin to just roll the dough out okay just roll the dough out so that it will not stick to your work surface okay so just roll it out and then after rolling out make sure it's not too flat and it's not too thick either you're going to get this thing they call your meat pie cutter you can get it from any store i think it comes in a set of three to four and it's quite very affordable okay if you can get it just um use it if you can't i will show you other ways of cutting your meat pie of making your meat pie okay without a cutter like this but if you are using a cutter just place the dough the flattened dough in the middle of the cutter make sure it's well fitted you're going to get your your filling the one we made earlier you guys by now it should have cooled down like completely cold not hot okay you're going to now fill your dough with the with the filling and you're going to just use water to you know tap the edge so that it can seal properly okay now you're going to just close it up with a cutter making your meat pie is very very easy like just you know put it in close it up and then that's all okay it's quite easy and does not take time at all so this is the first one that we have out look at that meat pie be very careful when you're taking this out so that it will not it will not go and scatter okay so now this is the second pie um pay attention to the way um we are doing this so just roll it out roll it out okay so you have a flat dough and then get your meat pie cutter put the dough in the middle of the meat pie cutter like this okay make sure everything is well fitted inside it no mistakes they are going to put your dough your filling rather inside the dough and you're going to close up your meat pie cutter put some water at the edge so that it can seal up properly and then that is all 
you have your meat pie ready ready to be baked <laughs> you're going to set it aside and now for those of you that don't have a cutter this is what you can do after flattening your dough rolling it out with your um, rolling pin you're going to get a bowl a plate anything something that looks like this and then just put this in the middle of your flattened dough right and then use a knife to just cut around it it is very very easy okay so that i can get that round perfect shape use a knife to cut around it until you have something that looks like this okay let's open this up now mm -hmm. that looks like this okay so now you're going to now fill this with your dough but not too much okay so that it should be able to close up properly not too much um filling because if it's too much it's going to start leaking out and we don't want that so also use your water to just you know rub the edges of your pie and then close it up like you just saw me did just make sure you use your hand to tap 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 to seal up the edge then get your fork and then use your fork to just further seal up the edge of your pie so the fork is there to seal up the edge and also to give it that beautiful beautiful meat pie color so this is what we have <laughs> our meat pie not too big and obviously not too small but maybe a little bit smaller than the one we use that meat pie cutter for okay for those of you that don't have an oven this is how to bake without your oven just get a flat pan it could be a pizza pan you could even, it could even be the cover of your pot okay then you're going to use your margarine to rub the pan so that your meat pie will not stick to the pan you're going to now place your meat pie on it one by one and for those that have an oven get your baking pan out put some parchment paper on it you can use foil paper if you like but preferably a parchment paper and arrange your meat pie the one we use that cutter and all of those serenades do and then on top of your meat pie you are going to use your fork to poke holes in the middle of it okay this will help the steam inside the meat pie to escape very very well without affecting the pie itself okay then you're going to get to your egg one egg is okay you're going to beat it very well you can add a teaspoon of either milk or water whatever you have and just brush your egg wash it is called egg wash brush it on top of your meat pie it's going to give it that golden brown color that we all love it's just going to make your meat pie to come out very very nice and crunchy and nice so make sure you don't skip this skip this step and make sure you brush your meat pie when you're about to bake okay so when you know that your oven is ready and you're about to bake that is when you should brush with your egg wash so now we've put that in the oven so for those of you that don't have an oven put your pan or your pot on medium meat add some salt the salt is going to act as a base for the baking you're going to get a stand like this you can take your stove stand you can take any stand that you can find and then you're going to just cover this up to eat for like 10 minutes when your pan is very hot you're going to place your meat pie on it and you're going to cover it up that is all you're going to leave this to bake for it takes longer anyway for like an hour and hour 30 minutes depending on what you are using okay but trust me it's going to come out really nice just like as if you baked it so i left this to bake for between 20 to 30 minutes at 180 degrees and this is what we have golden brown and you know very crunchy and flaky and the inside is very moist let's open it up so you can see what i'm talking about can you guys see yeah the inside is very very moist <laughs> I'm very nice, you guys. This is one of the best meat pie you will ever make. I'm not even hyping it. Just try it and see, okay? And by the way, if this is your first time on this channel, my name is Tosin. My goal is to help you become a better home um, cook. And today's shout out is going out to Oluwato Milola. Thank you so much for dropping a comment in our previous post. If you want to get a shout out as well, just drop a comment under this post. So, you guys, this is our meat pie, the one without the oven. After about one hour, 30 minutes so you see you don't have an excuse at all make sure you try this recipe okay what recipe do you want us to make next thank you so much for watching bye guys